I want you to draw whatever you want. It has to be related to what you love. What is the first thing that comes to mind when you think about love? Or when someone says the word love, what's the first thing that comes to mind? I think of a heart. It's very mushy. Love is very mushy? So, what do you love in your life? I love my family. I love art. I love golf. I love my parents. I love hanging out with my friends. And I love playing piano. Okay. You done? Okay, so hold it up to the camera and kind of explain what your picture is. Um, so, what I did was I put a tree, like the tree of life, because I really like nature. I drew, like, my daddy giving all his love to my mom. If you're looking at scientifically, quantum physics says that we are all energy. Everything is energy. So love is energy. And then when you think about um, our biology, um, love is a feeling, it's an emotion. And you know, it triggers the chemicals that flood our bodies. How we view love, sex, and romance. There's a lot of things that influence that. There's religion, there's society, there's the media, there's life experiences, there's culture, there's gender, ethnicity. All of these things uh, add to how you perceive your beliefs and your habits about love, sex, and intimacy and romance. Um, love means to be somebody that you really care about. I mean, somebody that you would do anything for. To a soulmate, a best friend, yeah. someone you can always be around and always be happy. They make you happy. Shit, I don't even know, honestly. Um, that's something I'm trying to figure out and like, I feel like I have like issues with love, like the concept. Caring for somebody else outside of yourself or dying to yourself for that person. So going beyond what you feel is right for you and looking at what is right for them. I think love's like a, kind of like an unconditional like devotion to someone. It's you kind of putting your own pride and your own needs away for a moment and kind of putting another person of more importance than yourself for some, for some time at least. Someone that, hmm, someone that actually listens and cares about like your day. Like yeah. some people don't say I love you, like they show it in other ways. So it's like someone that genuinely cares about you. Someone who makes sacrifices for you, make sure you're always good. Someone who cho like chooses you, like cause it can be anybody. There's so many people in the world, but the fact that they're like allowing you to I can't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, honestly, it's hard to explain. Most people want to be around other people and they want that, that companionship and they want someone in their life. They want to give that love and, and receive it. It goes back to knowing who you are and what you want. Now, as you live, you'll you know, evolve and you will be able to say, oh yeah, that's a little bit too high of a standard. No one can live in those circumstances. So I'll, I'll do, you know, I want this, you know, and you start looking at the more physical characteristics. I want a beautiful smile. I want eyes that when they look at me, I see that love. I want uh, someone who's caring, someone who supports me, someone who's this. And um, you, you adjust that list. But you know what? I say go for it. Know what you want. If you can't communicate your needs and your desires in a way that they receive them, then there's going to be a disconnect. If you learn to understand how they communicate so that they hear what you're saying and they understand how you feel about things, you can set boundaries and you can say what's a deal breaker for you. Intimacy to them as well as you, you know, define intimacy for you so that you're on the same page. So I was in a band, so we were in Austin, and uh, you know I'm there. I, I wasn't trying to pick up any any women at the time, and I'm hanging out with my friends, and this lady like saunters up to me and asks me for a light, and I was like, yes, ma'am. And it, it turned out later that she was actually on a date, and she like 
got a friend to run interference so she could come talk to me. And we've talked every day since that day. At what point did you realize that you loved the other person? For yeah. us, it was pretty quick. Yeah. Maybe, maybe two months, a month. A lot sooner for me. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Early, I think. Pretty quick. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to play it cool. It was, it was lighter. It was, it was, um, I mean, I liked him, but I think, <laughs> I think it was like, um, like a month into dating mm -hmm. that I really felt like I, I loved him. Lovable people are able to love. And if you look at that word, it's a word, it's a love -able, love abled. People disable love in their lives by being dishonest, by being, um, you know, there's all of these things that they can bring in that, that sabotage the relationship. So are you disabling love in your life? Are you disabling the op opportunities for love? I've been in a relationship for 10 months now. It's, it's going good, it's had its ups and downs, and, um, but I'm, I'm definitely in a happier place than I, I would be if I was single. Oh. Single? Yeah. Um, I am in a two year committed relationship. Goals. That's goals. goals right there. My love life is shit. Um, Cause I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm very just attached. And like right now, um, I'm young, so I'm not really looking for love. But I feel like it's something I definitely want. So I'm kind of conflicted. I don't know. I'm dating. Uh, it's it's good. I'm looking to get married. I'm single, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not all the way single. I got a man, but we in a little. That's a situation. Complicated situation. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm actually with like on and off with one of my exes. Well, we're like, we're still we're hanging out, but we're not. We haven't put a, a name, a label on it, because I feel like label is kind of, you know, especially in, in the moment that I'm at with my life right now. Gianna, what? What's your status? Um, you know, you know, just you know, chilling. Yeah, what is chilling? I don't even know my own stats, to be honest. Exactly. So how do you make your relationship work? Communication. Yes. Right? I mean, in my opinion. Yes. Right? We talk about everything. We, we resolve all of our differences right away. Yeah. And... We listen. We listen. Like, we don't, like, talk over the other person when they're upset. Because there's a valid reason why they're upset. So... In college, I... I was sitting in class and this, this guy in the back behind me just kept you know, wanting my attention. And so I thought, well, maybe, maybe I ought to just go out with him. Well, it was the homecoming parade and he was a clown. And he, he did all kinds of things to make me laugh as we were going down the street at the homecoming parade. Afterwards, he showed up and he said, hey, let's, uh, let's go on with th this other couple and have, you know, get acquainted. I said, okay. So I went with him and we were riding in the back seat and he reached over to kiss me and I thought, now he knows that I'm from a little country town, probably haven't gone up out much, and, but if he tries to kiss me, I'm going to kiss him. And I did, and evidently he was impressed because every day after that he was on my case. Well, three weeks later he said, I, I have waited all my life for a girl like you. You're the girl I want. I want to marry you. Three months later we were married in our hometown he was the most romancing. He just made me feel so loved. And so we decided that uh, we were gonna take the hard licks and we were gonna make a go of it. Be yourself. 
You know what? If you're an authentic person and you're showing who you truly are and how you love life and the things you enjoy, and that's why I say do the things you enjoy and attract someone. They see you live in life and, and they're attracted to that. When you're authentic to who you are and what you're about, then you grow together being those individual people. So don't give up. Thank you.